Hello and welcome. This is H. John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Today we're going to be learning about arrays and how to apply them to say a list button and then a spinner. Uh, once we've got one created, the other one will be simply a, a matter of rearranging things and putting uh, new tabs basically on things. So, let's start by using the list view. Uh, I've created a new project that's empty and I'm just going to drag and drop a list view on here and we're going to name this and the naming is important array underscore list one uh, that way we can find it uh, in the Java so that's all we're going to do on that page let's go over to the Java I've kind of prepped this already uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a string array to hold the test uh, text to be displayed. <laughs> so let's do that. We're going to do string and then little brackets. My string array. Uh, and we're going to call it, let's say, let's put in um, alpha. And you can just put an A, B, and C if you want to. It would be easier. Bravo. And I'm going to put in Charlie. And that's going to be my string array. All right. Next thing we need to do is we need to create the array adapter. Array adapter. And... We're going to use the the string generic, so string goes in here, depending what generic in here go, you're using from Java, uh, that's what you put in there. Uh, my adapter, and it's going to be new. Let me see, and then we're going to use the array adapter string of this, because we're referring to this one, Android. And I can't see it because of this crutter. Android dot R dot droid dot R dot layout dot simple. Whoops, simple. And I keep spelling things wrong. Simple underscore list one, item one. And you may be wondering, what's that? I'll put a link down below so you can further go into details on that. Say, just it's a simple layout method that is used uh, generically by uh, Android Studio. Uh, so that's that's just what you put in there. And I'll I'll put a link below. You can go look that out. It's uh, it's an aspect of Android dot R dot layout. Uh, so. You can investigate to your heart's content on that array, my string array, which we had created up there. There, my sting. No wonder I named it wrong, spelled it wrong up there. There we go. All right, next we need to associate the adapter with the list view. And we'll do that with uh, list view, my list equals uh, list view, uh, find view by ID, and we named it array list one, so they can find it that way. And then we'll close that. And then we'll do my list dot set adapter and then my adapter, which is my adapter right there. And that is all you need to do to create your basic basic uh uh, array fed list and then we'll run it and see what it looks like I already have my emulator up and running so it shouldn't take terribly long
And there we go. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. And that's our list that's created by this Java code. Now, say you wanted to have a drop-down menu or a spinner instead. Well, that's easy. We're just going to get rid of this. And we're going to drop a spinner in, which is here. And we're going to call that spinner the same thing we called this, RayList1. Copy and paste right there. All right, let's take a look at the text. And it's spinner this time. It's, it's, not, a, it's not the list view. It's spinner. So we have to come back in here and replace list view with spinner. And again spinner and then we run it see what happens easy peasy got a drop down menu that has alpha bravo and charlie and that's all there is to it so i hope you learned a little bit um, this is just the beginning of using a the arrays, I hope to get into more details uh, later on with different tutorials. Glad you could join me. This has been Ace with John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you around.